So I'm out in our main pasture today. This is right behind my house and Eric's house. We're running a pretty good bit of cows here, but we've never had a real great way to work anything here. We finally decided to get us a barn going. So this is our barn here. Sorry, it's a little bit windy out here today in the hill. And this is gonna be where we're gonna be working our cows. We've done a little bit of work, but we've got a ways to go. Putting in a lane down through here. But we'll have a facility set up. It's got a roof over its head. We can do artificial insemination, pregnancy testing, vaccinations, all that kind of stuff. We're also setting it up where we can bring cows in from another pasture, run them through and take them back out and not have to mix them in with this herd. We're going to get working on it. Uh, it's a slow project. It'll probably take us a while, but we're hoping in the next month or two to get all this wrapped up. It's going to be a lot of uh, post driving, a lot of welding, but uh, I think once we're done, we'll be really happy with it. We are working on the lane. This will be where we bring the cows and calves in and out of our barn. So yesterday we drove all these posts. If you saw our video where we were building a fence, we used that same post driver that is mounted on the front of the Bobcat. So we've got them spaced out every 10 feet. We're going to go back and put these metal panels in. That'll be what mostly makes up our lane and then on top we've got to go back and finish getting these leveled up we'll put a little saddle cap and then we'll have almost a three inch um, diameter pipe that runs down the top just to keep it uh, keep anything from jumping over um, the top of this is about five feet so we're going to go up one more foot to have that but we're going to get working on that going to start doing some welding not much of a welder but uh, eric has done a good bit of welding so i'm gonna try and learn a little bit from him and see if i can't do a little bit of welding we've got the miller welder set up eric over here is going to be doing some welding or fixing sushi <laughs> not real sure which one these panels are 20 feet long you can see we've got them set up we didn't want them to end on a post so i've actually got a few inches off but you take these little connectors here they'll slide inside here about like that so we're going to go through and weld it here and then the next one will just slide right on and you just keep adding on on down the line Some of the posts, when you tack them together, it's like a pair of channel locks. I'll show you, I'm gonna hold this while Eric takes this on here. I've got a wire brush hooked up to the end of my drill. So I'm just going through. And everywhere that we're going to be welding, I'm cleaning it up. These posts have been sitting outside for a while, so they're good and rusty. But doing this, it'll help make sure we get a good tight weld on it. We've made it down to a 10 foot section here. So basically, we're going to bring it on in here. There's going to be a gate that hangs right, right across here to close off our lane. We're going to cut this one panel down from 20 feet to about 10 feet. That'll finish us out and then try to get one of our gates put up.
Do I look like I'm styling? This is how you heat the sushi up. <laughs> Jokes. Konnichiwa. What does that mean? Isn't that thank you? I think so. Konnichiwa. Something like that. We're getting gate one leveled up, so this will be the end of our lane here. There'll be another gate about halfway down, and then the wood that you see down there, we're actually gonna tear that out, and there'll be a gate there, so we can back our trailer in that little area there, and that's where we'll load from. So what we'll do on these gates is we'll weld this piece here to get it to hold, and then we'll go back with another piece of flat iron and weld from this post here back to here. So these will kind of make a little bit of a V shape just to give it a little bit more support. Eric handled all the welding today. We only had one shield and he is fresh off the coronavirus. So I really didn't want to put his shield on. My brother's getting married this weekend. So I didn't figure they'd appreciate it if I brought them the coronavirus at their wedding. But Next time, I'm hoping to get in there and learn some welding myself. It's something I've always wanted to learn, but don't know much about. That wraps up our day. We got everything up and welded and even got one gate up. Didn't expect to get that much done today, but glad we did. We'll be expanding our project. We've got to build some more catch lots. We're going to have some pins in here, a lane, an alley, uh, squeeze chute. There's a lot that uh, has to be done before we can start working some cows in here, but we are getting one step closer. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can stay up to date. You can see our barn projects and everything else we're working on as we get it finished. And as always, leave us some comments. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.